Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to recreate this video by 360 Media. To make this hand effect, you have two options. First is to search for a hand movement clip like this with a green screen. Second is to record on your own, I won't lose my time, so I will grab my camera and record my hand. You can use camera or phone. Place it on a tripod or somewhere so it won't move and record your hand. Once you've recorded your hand, drop it to AE Timeline. Now we have to remove the background, select Roto Brush Tool and double click on Hand Layer. Make a perfect selection of your hand. Once you've finished selecting, add a feather a bit. Then press space bar to play back the video and check if selection is following the hand perfectly. If it doesn't need to be fixed, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, make sure to unfreeze the selection, then go back to composition. Now we have to convert roto brush selection into the mask. To do so, first of all, let's match work area to hand layers length like in this video. Then go to layer tab and select, auto trace. Here make sure to select work area, then copy my settings and click on OK. Now toggle off Roto Brush, then press M on your keyboard to open masks. And if there will be unwanted masks like in my case, this purple one, select that mask and delete it. Then select the main mask and change mode to add. We have now a perfect tracked mask on our hand. Let me explain why I made masking like this way. If I would make a mask with a pen tool and then track that mask, we all know that After Effects won't made a perfect tracking on that mask, and that would last months to track perfectly. Note, even Mocha AE wouldn't track the mask like Roto Brush did. Hope this little trick with Roto Brush makes your day better and will save your time. Once you've created mask, you can now bring work area to its normal length. Let's check the video we're recreating. In this video we can see the hand is blacked out and it has a saber plugin on it. Let's do the same, select your hand layer and add a find edges effect, click on invert. Nice. Now add Saber plugin on a hand layer. Note, Saber is free plugin and you can get it from the official website. Expand render. Change composite settings to add. Then expand customize core. Change core type to layer masks. Now change preset to electric. Hand effect is ready. It's almost the same, if you check his video, he has too much glow on a Saber. I won't add glow, I like it how it is now. Let's toggle off hand layer for a while and let's edit your car video now. Duplicate your video twice and rename them in order. First rename to car only. Second rename to clean. And third one rename to original. Toggle off car only and original layers now. Select clean layer, then grab a pen tool and mask the car like in this video. Now press M on your keyboard to open masks. Right click on mask and select track mask. Track that mask forward. Once the tracking is done, go to masks and change mask mode to subtract. Now go to window and click on content aware fill. Go to aware fill tab, copy my settings and click on generate fill layer. This will remove car from a background. Move fill layer below car only layer, then toggle back on car only and original layers. Now grab a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Make a perfect selection. We have to isolate the car from a background. Once you have finished selecting, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Add a bit feather under the roto brush. If you toggle off other layers you will see an isolated car. Now toggle on hand layer. Move hand below the car only layer. Adjust hand, add scale, change position, or add rotations, make it look as you will enjoy. Once you're happy with the hand adjustments, let's make a car moving up effect like in 360's video. Go to the moment, from where you want to make car floating effect to start and split their car only layer. Right click on that second part and pre-compose it. Right click again, go to time and select, freeze frame. At the very beginning press P on your keyboard and click on position stopwatch icon. Then go forward near to the end and move position up a bit. Enable motion blur on that layer. Select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now go to the moment where I almost close my hand, grab a pen tool and make a mask like in the video. Press M on your keyboard to open masks, then click on mask path stopwatch icon. Now go frame by frame forward and move the mask like this where the fingers touch the car. Once the hand is fully closed, you can split that layer and delete the second part. Open mask now and add a feather a bit. Car catching effect is done. Let's check 360 Media's video and see what we can add more. 
In his video, there is a glowing background. I am not sure how he made that, but, who cares, let's create our own with other shapes. To create a glowing background I will use car only layer. Duplicate car only layer, select the bottom one and stretch that layer, match it to the length of the hand layer. Right click on that layer and pre-compose it. Right click again, go to time and select, freeze frame. Let's toggle off all layers now to see that one clearly. I will rename that layer to glowing background. Add a turbulent displace to that layer. Change amount to 400. Change size to 15. Change complexity to 1.1. Make sure you are at the very beginning of the layer and click on evolution stopwatch icon. Then go to very end of the layer and change evolution to around 40. Press U on your keyboard and move second keyframe to the very end of the clip. Toggle back on all layers. Now press S on your keyboard and scale as much as you will enjoy. Also position it as you wish. Finally move that layer below hand layer. And lastly add a glow effect. If you have a deep glow plugin, use that one, if not, after effects glow will work fine as well. Under the deep glow, expand tint and enable it, change color whatever you will enjoy. I will stay on green, decrease the mix a bit, and we are done. Let me know in comments if you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.